Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at how Python can be used to simulate logic gates. So, let's have a look and see. So, the one of the most simple kind of gates is an AND gate. The AND gate works as follows. If the input of A and B are both true, then the output will be true. But if the input of either one or both is false, then the output will be false. So it's only when a and b are true that we get a true output so if i wanted to write that in python what i'd say is create a, a function or method or module called and that takes in two values a and b and if a is true and b is true then return true just else return false so unless they're both true it's going to return false if they're both true it'll return true so that's the AND gate simulated. If we do the NOT of the output, what that means is um, if A is true and B is true, for AND the output would be true, but it's the opposite for n NAND, so it's false. So it's false if they're both coming in true, and it's true for any other circumstances. So how we represent that in uh, Python is almost the exact opposite of the other program. We define NAND taking two parameters, A and B, and if both A and B are true, we return false, otherwise we return true. So that's the NAND function. The OR gate now, the OR gate means if either A or B or both A and B are true, we return true, otherwise we'll return false if they're both false. So if A or B is true, we return true. So this is one way of doing it. We create our program, takes in two parameters. If A is true, then we return true. If B is true, then we return true. Otherwise, we return false. So the only time we return false is if both A and B are false. But I, I want to use the elif statement there just to show you how you do that. The XR gate is the one where it's exclusive R, so that means only A or B can be true. If A is true and B is false, it'll be true. If B is true and A is false, it'll be true. So this is interesting code, because all you have to do is say, take in A and B. If A is not equal to B, then return true, else return false. Why does that work? Well, that works simply because if A is false and B is true, then it's true, or if the other way around, it's true. Whereas if they're both true or both false, then we return false. There is uh, other gates as well, like the tautology gate, which is always true. So whatever two parameters come in, we just return true anyway. If we want to print out some truth tables, and I'll just do two examples, and you, you can do the, the rest of them yourself. If I wanted to print out for the NAND gate. A being false and false, A being false and true, A, A and B false false, A B false true, A B true false, and A B true true. I'll print out the, the table, and really, it's the in bit where I calculate the values for that false false, false true, true false, and true true. What we'll get if we print this out is this if A is false and B is false, then we get true. If A is false and B is true, then we get true. If A is true and B is false, then we get true. And if A is true and B is true, then we get false. So that's a NAND gate, truth table created. And the XOR gate, it's the same look and feel. We, we, we print out false, 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 true, true, false, and true, true. And then we do those calculations, you, you calling the XOR function or module passing in the parameters false, 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 true, true, false, and true, true. And we include um, vertical bars and, and dashes and plus signs just to make it pretty and create a, the sense of a, a table with it. And again, with our XR table, exactly as we'd expect. If they're both false, it'll return false. But if A is false and B is true, then it'll return true. Or the other way around, if A is true and B is false, then it'll return true, whereas if they're both true, because it's an exclusive R, then it's going to return false. So that's the, the, the basics of truth tables 
in, in, in Python. So thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.